the New Jersey Attorney General is investigating a deadly shooting in Vineland. And as our Cleve Bryan tells us, a detective from the Cape May County Prosecutor's Office opened fire, killing a 19-year-old. I was terrified. Um, I just, I wasn't aware of which direction the shots were coming from. While she'd like to hide her identity, this eyewitness has a lot to reveal about a fatal police-involved shooting in Vineland on Thursday. She says police shot a man through the windshield of his car in the parking lot of Just for Wheels on Delcy Drive. The car then lost control, moving in reverse into the neighboring parking lot where she was standing and could see the young man's face. He wasn't looking at nothing when he came around. I think he might have already been gone at that point. New Jersey's Attorney General's office is heading the investigation. They say a detective from Cape May County fatally shot 19-year-old Jacob Cervais in what they will only describe at this time as a law enforcement operation. Now I asked them what they do. Bart Ozdemir, who owns the Golden Palace Diner two doors down from the incident, says officers used his bathroom hours before the shooting and said they were staking out the place where Cervais was ultimately killed. I know the guy cops waiting for somebody, and when I went outside, I see the uh, guy was laying on the floor and they have given CPR to keep him alive. We've learned that Cervais had an outstanding bench warrant from Gloucester County. He was facing several charges, including reckless death by auto for a police chase in June where he crashed, killing his 17-year-old passenger. What things did you specifically hear the police yelling at the driver of the car? I heard them yelling to put your hands up, turn the car off. The gentleman was already, had his hands up and just, sitting there not moving. A law enforcement source tells me that authorities in Cape May County were interested in surveys for something other than the outstanding bench warrant. There is no word if there was a gun found at the scene. This remains an ongoing investigation. In Violent, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.